I think court's open to it. I think that the problem with court with MLW with uh, excuse me AEW, the, is that there's sort of a double-edged sword there, and I believe that court, the plan is for me going into the future is that I'm supposed to represent MLW and be the next world champion, and he just doesn't want me going on to other TV products and not being used to my fullest potential or being misused. I think that's what his issue is. And for AEW, we've seen they've allowed some people to go for like one-time appearances, but from what I understand, MLW is only taping once or twice a month now, so yeah. there might not even be a conflict with AEW's TV yeah. tapings. Absolutely, that's <clears throat> that's correct. I would love to do that, and you know that, you know, Devin, that's the thing is I don't understand what New Japan's deal was, was because there's so many of these double standards and, and uh, you know, like when Kenny and the Bucks and Cody were all jumping to, to start AEW, I was under the assumption that they all wanted to still work with New Japan and do something uh, internationally with them in the U.S. And then New Japan just totally said, no, you guys go away, we're, you're, we're done. We only work with Ring of Honor. But then they used John Moxley and Jericho who are still working with AEW, why not keep Kenny and the Bucks when you've invested all that money and time into them? You, you understand what I mean? I, I, I it just, I it, it, it confuses Kenny me. now too, that they're, they don't actually have him booked, although they could have him booked. Yeah, well, I, th that I don't know, but I just, that always kind of uh, made me wonder. I, I'm not sure, but, you know, there's, there's so many things that New Japan could have done with me, like, Imagine if there was a G1 match with me and John Moxley or, uh, you know, myself with Will Ospreay, who I think is an amazing talent as well. You know, uh, myself and Kota with uh, Ibushi, I think he's a great uh, talent. You know, I think that they just cheated the fans totally on what <clears throat> could have been some amazing matches just because they only wanted me to do a, as a tag team. And they just, I, I didn't get it. So, you know. As a wrestling expert, uh, I know you could possibly work for AEW in the future, but what are your thoughts on AEW so far from what you've seen? You've mentioned that there seems to be a lack of big guys, but overall, what do, what do you think? Well, you know, I <clears throat> honestly speaking, I saw the first show. I've been wanting to see the, the last ones that they did in, was it Daytona Beach? I didn't see, I haven't seen yeah. that yet. There's I heard one it in Jacksonville too. Yeah, I, I heard that they weren't as good. I like the first show. There was some good and bad things. I think that AEW, one thing that they've changed since the first show that I like to have, to have seen was they've changed the colors a bit. I'm a big guy with colors, you know. Um, I thought that their championship belt was, uh, it could have been a bit more, like I like a gold championship belt with the diamonds and the rubies. Like this one was silver and he couldn't tell if it said AEW or NEW or NXT. I don't know if they invested a lot of money into that title. Hopefully not. I didn't like the title. I didn't like the colors for the first show. Uh, I like that they changed the colors on the turnbuckles. And people may think, oh, well, that doesn't mean a lot. Yeah, it does mean a lot. Uh, WCW, I like their, their colors because it was totally different from WWE. I like ECW's colors. But that, that all being said, I didn't like the Battle Royal on the first show. I thought it was a waste of time. but. I understand that they were wanting to do something where they had um, an abundance of talent out there just to, you know, almost like as an infomercial or as a commercial just to have them out there or a reason to be out there. I thought the Battle Royal sucked. I thought it was a waste of time and I wouldn't have done it, but what do I know? But uh, there was a lot of good stuff. Going back to the colors, Dustin and Cody had an amazing match. Because of Dustin with the red and the dark suit, I would have liked to have seen him wearing something else. I think that the blood would have uh, showed up better. It was a hell of a cut, but it was a great match, a very good match too. And um, but that being said, I, th I think that they're they're on the right path. I think they're doing a lot of good stuff. Um, you know, like I said, hopefully we were able to negotiate something and, and work something out. I would like to go there. I'm, I'm very intrigued by what they're doing. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.